<laughs> it won't consistently stick his tongue out. I don't know why not. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we've got a special one for you. This is the power supply flash contest from a couple weeks ago. We've got the results. All right. So for our first entry, um, I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, we've got an entry from James. Um, what I really liked about this one is it's just simple. Um, I mean, the, the whole cyberpunk mantra, I guess, is high tech, low lives. But really, why overcomplicate something when you don't have to? It's it's three eighteen six fifty batteries, uh, a board to put them all in, um, to sync them all up, basically, so you can have a charger and then a a buck converter to go from 12 volts to five volts. And the five volts will go straight to typically your Pi. Um, and yeah, that's it. There's no there's no fancy display. There's no OLEDs. There's no toggles. There's no switches. There's no RGB at all. Yeah. Um, and it just works. It's just like, hey, power out. If you need power, like that's what this contest was. It was to design a power supply and yeah, sure. All the peripherals are nice. It's a, it's like uh, it's like when you go to Burger King and they like check off all the extra ingredients that they added to your burger, like on the wrapper. You know, I don't know if they still do that or not. They did when I was a kid, but this is just like no burger, cheese, bread, boom. There you go. Take your power, get out of my burger shack. Yeah, <clears throat> I really like it. You know, it is a it is really boiled down to being the simplest design you can. You're taking a buck converter. Uh, which could doesn't have to be five volts you know common voltages for stuff we work on is five nine and twelve uh, i really like this as being the a long-term option with the least possible amount of components you know individual ones obviously there's a lot of components on those circuit boards but you don't have to mess with that yeah so yeah. uh yeah we're gonna dub this one the best cheapest option the simplest option, um, and that is what makes it one of our runners up today. What do we got the next? The only thing that I would say I would caution people, well, any newcomers anyway, that, are, that really want like a cheap power supply is like, this is a lot of exposed um, electrodes. There's a lot of exposed metal here. So for that- Well, it obviously <laughs> needs to be wrapped in a, you know, you throw it in a project box, you put some jacks on it, uh, yeah, you know, obviously it needs to be put together. Uh, yeah, I would have run it dead bug style. It's yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Do we have a part um, number for this uh, for this BMS, or was it just uh, the, was yeah. it literally just this MS Paint picture that we got? Yeah, we'll uh, just, uh, we'll uh, throw it in the links, or um, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the screen somewhere over here or over there, but I'll probably forget. So we'll put it in the links at the bottom. Perfect, perfect. I kind of want to make one now. Okay, uh, moving on to our next runner up. Um, interestingly enough, we've got an entry from James Five. He gave us this really interesting design where he's charging from the wall, but it looks like the power output is something that you would see in like a like a car cigarette lighter adapter, um, and that the LED display where it's showing like the volts that are coming out is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people might just have like a, you know, your voltage converter that's plugged into a, a USB female connector and that's, and that's it. But this integrated LED um, voltage meter, kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice touch to it. Um, this design is virtually the same as the last. Um, you have a buck converter, you have a BMS, uh, this one includes power supply and the connectors for it for the barrel jack. Um, but having the USB-C PD device, it does more than just give you a five volt output. A PD that's, you know, spec'd out properly gives you nine volt, gives you uh, what? Uh, 12 volt, 15 volt and 19 volt, I think is the total. Um, so you could actually use this to do your voltage boosting as well. Uh, so if you have something that needed a higher voltage output, you just need to connect a PD uh, board so that it detects it properly. Super helpful for like multiple different projects. So that way you don't have a power supply that's just good for 
one five volt thing and that's the only thing you can ever use it for like you said you can if you have various voltages for whatever reason um yeah you can you can use this for different projects if you need to cannibalize an old project and re reuse it for something else yeah exactly so uh yeah another great runner up thank you for the entry and uh, let's jump on to the next one all right our third entrant um by the way bonus points for just the uh the the old like radio shack catalog feel that it, that it's got going on here um but this is just called the power deck or the the cyber deck power cell from cas cas with a k um and this documentation is actually pretty extensive. There's like 14 pages of documentation, but uh, let's let's go down to um, a picture of the device here. All right, I think this is a good representation of what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they went well above and beyond on this build. Um, this is a SLA resin printed case it looks to me that the lens over the LCD is also resin printed and clear. Um, I think that's why it has slightly fogged out look to it. That's a, a common side effect. Again, this is virtually the same components of the other entries. This is just what it looks like when it's been implemented. And this gives you a standalone power brick, voltage in, voltage out. Uh, there's an XC60 on it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's for voltage in or out. I have to wait to see the, uh, the schematic later. Battery percentage, current draw. I mean, it, this really is a complete build. Yeah, it really is. Um, and, and bonus points for the really, really small Cyrillic uh, text that, that is seems, seems to be like melted in there, or I don't know how they got such a clean- Oh no, that's, that's printed. That, this is a resin print. So that's what the, the components look like. Here's a, by the way, cast bonus points for giving like the catalog view of and every links to the components, links, you know, how many you every... used in the build, a really, really detailed price breakout. The links are great. Um, yeah, I the only thing that I think I could ask for more from the documentation is the um, like the INE that they used to to program the the Arduino, but other than that, this is like. Yeah, this is the most complete build, I think, that... Granted, it doesn't have the simplicity and, hey, I want to make a, a power pack in in 20 minutes that the that the James <laughs> entry had. But um, in terms of, of look and in terms of, like, versatility of being able to deliver from, you know, multiple USB ports, uh, I don't know what you call that yellow guy. That, that is a XT60. I don't know. I don't know why you would need that, but well, we use it for got it. powering, uh, you know, quadcopters. When you're, that's a, you know, it's an RC standard. It's for remote control hobby stuff. One other thing that I that I didn't notice until we were talking about it just now is the um, the profile of it. It's not a perfect square. It's got these. Uh, it's almost like a more grippable shape when it's got these these, for lack of a better term, chunky bits. That are like very angular on the outside um yeah and and it, it looks like it's something that you could almost like mount or or slide in to uh if there if you had like a whole bunch of these that you could just easily stack them or you know, know that's a great idea with the ports all lined up on the bottom um this could be slotted into the cyber deck have all those ports mounted uh, internally on the deck yeah this this could be a like a rack style you know maybe you have a place for two of them so you could hot swap between them when one goes dead. Did we just invent the 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 cyberdeck standard for like rack mounted power in a deck? <laughs> that would be sick it, if this is what it, it turned could out to be. be. Um, <laughs> well, it, it's probably worth mentioning that uh, Cass, you are the uh, the contest winner. Um, you have definitely gotten it on uh, best design here and most complete build. We, we, you know, we've been talking about it for like five minutes, but we haven't mentioned that. Oh yeah, by the way, 
you won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Cass. Um, really, really, really cool work. And uh, like the cherry on top of it for me is like the amount of documentation that went into it is really cool. I don't have to wonder. It's like, oh, well, what part did they like? I could probably stumble my way through a couple of instructables pages to find like how to how to get this information and display it on an OLED. But yeah. Yeah, congrats, Cass. Um, thank you, all the all the entries that, that submitted an entry or promised to submit an entry in your entry. Um, <laughs> we got some we got some pretty good ones. Unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, you know like the the two thousand potatoes soaked in Gatorade uh, power supply. I was kind of we were kind of hoping to get one of those. I figured that was going to come from Iron Potato. Mm, yeah, it would you know. Right? I mean, who else? Yeah. What should we do for the next contest? Um, no, we should do the uh, we should do the commercials. The um, this was a technical contest. We should have an art contest next for um, like intermission screens. Okay. For Bachelor Chow and and you know, Mom's robot oil. Okay, I like that. Uh, what I want to know is, are you wiggling your ears to make those ears wiggle, or do you have a button for that? That it's it's on a timer. Gotcha. I don't I don't control oh. that at all. The only okay. thing I can control is the the puffy cheeks, and apparently, the tongue sticking out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought no one would see that. So the next contest is going to run for ten days, and it is going to be to make your own fictitious product and turn that into a commercial. Uh, the reason for that is like in today's video, uh, you know, we thought it'd be kind of fun to cut to commercial, uh, give it that kind of old school feel, but let's get some crazy products, you know, let's have some bachelor chow, some, you know, mom's motor oil esque items, some slurm, you know, Futurama has some great commercials, great product placement in it. Um, so yeah, this, Next contest is for those with uh, more of an artistic touch. Uh, not everyone knows how to design a circuit and, you know, not everyone has time to build a whole cyber deck or something in a week. Um, this is going to be artwork, animated, still, uh, you know, video with sound. You pick your poison. We'll be judging um, completely subjectively with no criteria whatsoever uh, based on Really, the, the preferences of the, oh my god, based mostly on the uh, excuse my roommate. Is your yeah? Is your roommate a yeah. little anxious there? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's what's gonna fit the aesthetic most. Like if you want to be if you want to make a goofy, funny one, like a bachelor chow, and and don't you know obviously don't use things that are gonna get us D, like a DCMA takedown notice. But like a bachelor chow is a genius idea. Just like how many of us are sitting in front of our computers with a bowl of cereal at 8 p.m. Um, just literally getting nutrients that that <laughs> that is essentially bachelor chow. <laughs> or if you want to just like have a still, like a wallpaper of a you know mom's friendly robot company. Or if you want to like take it more of a, a darker serious route and you know get inspiration from Cyberpunk 2077, go nuts with it. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, we're just looking for some fun content that we can throw in in the videos. Um, our favorite thing at the Sour Duck Cafe is getting to go through your, you know, submissions for these contests. Uh, there have been some amazing, amazing entries, some really funny stuff. Honestly, they're all good and they're very hard to judge and, you know, pick a winner from them. It usually comes down to a technical detail in it that sets them apart. Uh, so for this next contest, uh, have fun with it. You know, go as complicated if you want, go as simple, it doesn't matter. You know, remember that time management is a key aspect of these flash contests. Uh, there will be more, you know, larger contests going on uh, for the next virtual conference we hold. Uh, and you'll have, you know, a few months to build something for that. But for this, it's meant to be done in a couple weekends. And, uh, you know, not a, not a stressor. The prize is not monetary, it is, it's clout, you know? If you want to see your commercial on the next Cyberdeck Cafe video, then uh, this is the contest for you. 
Yeah, uh, bonus points for really obscure sci-fi references. Like, um, well, now that Dune's getting a movie, it's not so obscure. But um, like, if if you have an android dreaming of electric sheep, uh, I will. I don't know. Do something. Probably dream of electric sheep as well. But yeah, have fun. Video, GIF, GIF. If oh man, if someone could make a commercial about the, like the, like a product comparing GIFs and GIFs. That would be a thing of beauty. You know, go nuts with it. You've got 10 days from the date of the upload of this video, whatever that ends up being. Well, that wraps it up for us. Thanks for joining us again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Don't forget to so ding that bell. Like and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah.